Hi guys, it's Lauren Jane here. So, I'm going to do a video kind of about myself, why I got into fitness, where that all came from, why I stay in it, and um, yeah, just a little history about me and a little background. So, why did I get started in fitness? Well, um, about three years ago, I found myself very like burnt out in my job, burnt out in life, feeling very just kind of mundane and bored and just like I had no goals, no focus and that my health was suffering both in stress and in my personal life and then spilling over into my work life. I just wasn't feeling like things were going well and it was a culmination of things. Okay, so I'm trying to think how to start this timeline. I've always been a very active person in terms of always wanting to do sports or be involved in some way, but it's always been on and off in different capacities ever since you know I graduated high school and graduated college. Um, so I wanted, I reached the point in my life after I'd done several different things. Uh, first, I was doing adventure Spartan races and Tough Mudder races, you know, for a couple years. Then I was getting into CrossFit, and I was doing that for a couple years and really just trying to stay active, get fit, get strong and you know satisfy that very competitive side of me. Um, CrossFit, all these things, they were very exciting and very new and as soon as I learned a skill it was really exciting and I was of course getting in shape. When I turned 28, I'd already been doing these things for a while, I just, I just didn't feel like I'd reached a healthy state. I didn't aesthetically feel healthy and attractive. I didn't, I felt like I was losing myself at work. I was burnt out at work. I was working 13 hour night shifts at the hospital as a registered nurse, um, really long hours, exhausted, burnt out, just feeling like things were spiraling out of control. I had gotten up to, I think, almost 150 pounds. I'm only five foot five, so for me that was overweight, um, slightly, but it was definitely, I was starting to just feel very uncomfortable with my body, not feeling confident anymore. I'd only been married for a year, and I did not want to feel like this was my life, that my body's just gonna be let go and my and I don't have any like goals or things to change. So I thought to myself, you know what, I'm gonna take this year and I'm gonna get in the best shape of my life. And I just knew it was something that would make me feel confident, like I could just do something that I feel disciplined and accomplished. And so I set out to um, do my first fitness show. I signed up for a WBFF so World Beauty Fitness Fashion um, bikini competition. And I first thought to do this in January of 2014. I signed up for a show and I think I trained for, um, it was only eight weeks, but a total of 14 weeks to see my first transformation. The first few weeks, I, I think it was like the first six weeks, I was doing a paleo challenge at my CrossFit gym and just following the healthy foods that I was told to follow for six weeks I lost nine pounds without restricting calories, without changing up my routine. I literally just ate the foods that I was told to eat for six weeks, avoided the foods I was not supposed to eat, and I lost weight and I was toning up. So I knew diet was huge, and I never really had to diet before in my life. So that was, just, that was a very new thing for me. When I did my first show, obviously diet is huge. I didn't realize how much it really can change your body and how quickly and fast. For my first show, I only did eight weeks of training. Eight weeks of dieting and training. And I literally made a transformation from like kind of soft, flabby, like, you know, average body to a ripped body in eight weeks. And I was just shocked and amazed. Like, how does this happen? How is it that I was able to go all my life, you know, doing races and mer like um, running races, doing adventure races and CrossFit and all these things, and I can never get my body where I wanted it, but I did this in eight weeks. It made no sense and it was so shocking to me and such a wake up call because, you know, I, I consider myself a very healthy person. I'm a registered nurse, I love reading about uh, health and food and nutrition and I'm always educating myself on the newest thing, whether it's paleo or, you know, if grains are healthy for you, whatever the next food book is, I'm always reading. So it was really interesting to see to me that all it took was sticking to a program that and you, you will get in shape for just a period of weeks. So that got me hooked. There I was seeing my own personal transformation and that just hooked me. So for the next 12 months, I set out to get my pro card. On my first show, 
I got nine out of like 30 some females and that was amazing. It was an amazing experience, super fun, a great way to celebrate, you know, the hard work that I had done and the new body that I had and I was proud. Um, I had a long way to go though with my goals and my body goals, so I wanted to keep after it. I didn't want to lose all these hard earned results that I just got. So I went after my pro card. It took me, um, my fifth show I finally got my pro card. I kept going up in, um, in my placings. The first was ninth, then I went up to third, then I went up to second, and then second, and then I finally got first on my fifth show. So that was an amazing feeling and the drive that I had to succeed was, was so empowering. It was so empowering to see that I could have control over my body, over my health, over my life, by just having a goal that I stick to. And I couldn't believe that that's all I really needed. I needed a goal and I needed a routine. And those two things right there were the recipe for success. And I kept that up for a whole year. I literally ate, trained every part of my life, whether I was traveling or at home or at different gyms. I was always accommodating my lifestyle to meet my goals because it was there. Like I needed to step on stage. I needed to look a certain way. And as like superficial as it sounds, you know, of course you're looking to be a certain aesthetic, you know, physique, but at the same time, you gain so much control in your life. You, you gain discipline. You gain, gain understanding of how your body reacts to foods. You gain understanding of like what makes you bloated, what makes you have headaches, what makes you not feel so well. And all of a sudden now you like have so much power over your health. And I was just so shocked and amazed by this. And as a nurse, I had been feeling very lost at my job. You know, I, I love helping people. I've, over the years, I've always loved being a nurse and, and helping my patients. But I just saw this disconnect where, you know, I didn't want to just feed them medications or just, you know, take care of a symptom. I wanted them to have a good quality of life. <laughs> oh, sorry, Dave just interrupted my, my little dialogue. Okay, so it was this realization that I didn't want to just be you know, a nurse that fed a patient medications. I wanted to educate them on how to have a better quality of life because I had seen a lot of you know, very um, bad diseases, disease processes, loss, loss of uh, control in, in, in people's lives, loss of quality of life in my patients, and how that affects them and their families and everything. I saw all of it for years, and I, I always knew that I wanted to do something about it. And so not only did I see this new power in my life to be active and fit and healthy and feel like a new woman, but I saw that my I could do that for other people. And it was it was kind of accidental, you know. At first I did the shows and all of a sudden my friends and family are like, how'd you get in such good shape? How do you keep it up? How do you stay motivated? And I'm like, I'm not really sure. I like I wanted to get in shape and now I am and now I know how to do it and I get a sense of control back in my life. Now I feel, you know, stronger, healthier, leaner. Um, more energetic and all these you know positive aspects and I didn't want to let go of that so each time whether it was a show or once I started getting in more towards like fitness modeling and realizing that it could be more more than just a hobby it could also be you know a secondary career or even a primary career and it just it, it was awesome to see that progression because um, I now had an outlet to inspire people to take back their health to instead of just wait for, you know, slowly for like disease process to take place or to, you know, not feeding yourself the proper nutrition and not preventing bad things happening to you, actively exercising, actively working out, actively getting fit, fitter and stronger. And all these things were so amazing for me. I was like, it was like a revelation. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is it. This is preventative healthcare. Taking care of your body, what you, what foods you eat, what do you put in it, directly affects you and can actually affect you super quickly, like in a matter of weeks. So, you know, this this is what I saw. And after the shows, it was always had to be a new goal. Because if I didn't set myself a date, an expiration date of this is when you need to achieve this body goal, or this is when you need to achieve, you know, these things, then you slowly see yourself going back into old habits of, okay, I can have, you know, multiple cheat meals. Okay, I can eat all these things. And I need a week off. And you rationalize and you rationalize and you get involved with, you know, never ending parties and all of a sudden, now you're back to square one. I never wanted that to happen. I never wanted to think that all this like revelation and hard work over a course of a year could put me back at square one. I wanted to keep making progress. Like, okay, if I get here, I'm gonna get here. And 
it, it was awesome to see that. It changed my life, it changed other people's lives, All, suddenly it was starting to inspire other people. And I was like, wow, this is like a domino effect, it's awesome. It's contagious. Just a little bit more about why I connect so well with people in the fitness industry or people who are very fit or live a fit lifestyle. You know, um, not everyone knows my, my story, my background. You know, basically I could tell you I came from a very strict religious upbringing. Um, you can read about it. I did write a memoir, it's called Banished. Um, but basically I came from a very strict religious upbringing and I'm no longer allowed to associate with my family and you know, there's a lot of things I've had to go through over the years to try and deal with that. Law, emotional loss and family loss. And I've just found in fitness, there's, there's so many people that have these incredible stories of overcoming hardships, whether it's through broken relationships or you know, overcoming very, very hard things in life. And instead of turning to something destructive like drugs or alcohol or you know, all these other things, it's something constructive. Like it's a way to take back control and be powerful and, and strong and happy and there's just so many positive effects, but you can actually, it can be a great outlet. And I've seen that throughout the course of meeting people in fitness and I relate to them well, is that they've, it, it's given them a sense of discipline to overcome something. And you have to have the mental discipline to be able to do, be, you know, sustain these type of uh, fit lifestyles. So it was very interesting to me to see that, wow, you have a mental discipline and you have a physical discipline. And they can go hand in hand, but you have to have them both. And um, that just became like so exciting to me. So I would say that's kind of why I always relate to people um, who are very dedicated to their uh, fit lifestyles or dedicated to a healthy lifestyle, no matter what it is. They can be a marathon runner or Olympic lifter. You know, I still relate because I know that if, it's, if your only goal is just like aesthetics, it most likely will fade. It'll fade over time or whatever. You know, you can't always stay the youngest and fittest. But if, it, if your goal is because you have that determination to overcome hardships and, and to be a stronger person and to inspire others, like it will last and you will, um, you, you actually, it won't seem like a chore. When you're at the gym and you're working out, you're like, oh my God, how many more minutes do I have? Like, it won't seem like a chore. It'll be empowering and motivating and, and rejuvenating. Each time you do it, you will um, set a new goal and set a new progress for you to, you know, to attain. So anyways, that's kind of how I, um, that's where I, where I kind of came from. That's why I think fitness is so amazing and kind of gives me a background of what, um, of why I chose this and why I'm still very much involved. So that just summarizes, you know, why I got involved in fitness, why it's still very much a passion of mine, health, aesthetics, you know, all the above. And so I hope that helped you guys. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I'd love to share more blogs and more information about myself if you'd like. Please, if you like it, give it a thumbs up, like my video, share it with friends, write down in the comments below any other topics you'd like me to bring up. I love talking health and fitness. I, these are all great things. If you have ideas, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And yeah, I'll see you later. What do you want? Like, oh my God. I got into fitness because it was so like cool and like I wanted to wear a bikini on stage and be like, look at my glutes, they're so perfect. Wow, okay. That that's that summers up summarizes up what I was actually thinking. Max, why'd you get into fitness? Why is the camera so far away? Because your ass wasn't here to help me. Set it up. Max, say hi to Lawrence fans. Okay, go away. You guys are you guys are done. I actually didn't finish this at all. So when Lauren does videos, I'm not allowed to be here. I have to either leave the apartment or get I'm locked in the closet. No, it's just he is very he's like a critic, so he needs uh, to go away. What are you talking about? Yeah. Max and I are your best reviewers. Oh, are you now? Really? What what's a review? Go ahead, give me one right now. Okay, good. You can I, go back in the you can go back in the closet or whatever. Oh, <laughs>